Hello everyone, Barb here. Well, I have a quick little haul video. I ordered from a couple of different companies and thought I would share what kind of goodies I got. I did order, I believe, through Simon's a Stamp, the Distress Mica Stains. These are a Tim Holtz product, or Ranger product. So they have a lot of really beautiful shimmeriness to them. And I purchased Mulled Cider, Fallen Acorn, Unraveled, Phantom Mist, Specimen, and Iron Gate. These were a part of kind of the Halloween collection, but I thought they were beautiful colors that I am looking forward to using. Okay, so then I did get these, this is called a vault collection. So there were five different sets and I think Tim Holtz has been doing this throughout this entire year. Um, I just happened to catch these Christmas ones and thought they were neat and ordered all of them because I could not choose. So isn't that sweet? And these elements are all separate. So you get the wreath and you get the little pine cone and the candles. And I do have some examples of some little goodies that I made playing with all of these, most of these goodies that I got today. I did not play with this one yet, but this reminds me of my girlfriend, her Christmas tree, my best friend growing up. They had this Santa sleigh that hung prominently on their Christmas tree every year, and I saw this, and I want to make a Christmas card for her using that image. The Wish, the Peace, the Noel, sweet, love it. Again, that bell. Now these I think were resized. I think maybe they were bigger, they made them smaller. I, I'm not exactly sure, um, but I think these are all so cool. And here's a letter set. So these are all individual. Then that poinsettia and the holly leaves, so pretty. And this one, mm, those ice skates and the snowflake and the little snowman, so cute. Okay, so now here is an order that I placed with Stamps of Life, Stephanie Barnard, and I like her products as well. And she's such a bright, cheery person. You can look up the Stamps of Life on YouTube and find her channel. I encourage you to watch it. She does fun, neat things and has lots of neat products. Um, this first one is a little mini box, and I put these in these envelopes just for storage purposes. Then this is what she calls a flip it. It's an owl with the pumpkin. Um, I'll show you how I used it. Not sure, I'm gonna have to go find her video to really see how to accurately use that. And then I was on the hunt for a snowman and isn't that cute? So there's a stamp set. And then the coordinating dies that go with. And snowmen are just wonderful. I love snowmen. And then this was on clearance. This is called a Z-fold. So it makes a Z-fold card. It's the whole big die. I will have to run this through my um, electronic cutter, my Gemini, because it's so big. It won't fit through my regular die machine, but that's okay. It's got like a pocket. It's got the little corners, words, flowers, Really neat stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting to play with that. I'll move this out of the way and bring in some samples. These are falling. Hopefully they'll stop. Okay. So here's that little box. Isn't that fun? I love the size. Perfect for just a couple of little sweetie treaties in there. Or, oh, who knows? You could put a little pair of earrings in there and a necklace. Just all sorts of goodies. Perfect for a little um, Thanksgiving or Christmas favor on the table. Yep, I thought that was adorable. I just added some pattern paper to the sides of it to decorate it a little bit. 
and of course you can do a lot more and I'm sure I will. There'll, there'll be a video showing this. Now here's that owl. Um, it, it tells you to place the, the fold of your cardboard so that you end up with, you know, it's attached. And I guess this is okay. I certainly can use it. But I did the Barb Cheaty method on my example here. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, just dug into my stash, used a little marker to do some coloring and highlighting. Um, and uh, I think that's adorable and it will be adorable for my granddaughter. But what I did is I cut two separate panels and then scored and folded this back side. And I will be doing a video also showing this. But that's the Barb Cheater method to make it a, a folding card. Then I used the snowman to make some snowman name tags. Dug into my stash for most of it, but I love that snowman. So cute. I used some scrap pattern paper for the scarves. And then using the Tim Holtz stamp sets I came up with a little set of four cards the paper was from last year so December 2023 Christmas paper from close to my heart which is closed um, the paper was called silver bells and I ended up with a bit of it left over in my stash and now that close to my heart is closed I'm going to be digging into that stash to do stuff for Christmas this year. So here are those ice skates. Um, the, the middle paper is Glacier, and I ran it through a snowflake embossing folder from close to my heart. These are all retired products. They're not available anymore unless you find them on the eBay or something. But there are the skates, the snowflake, that little snowman, and then that little poinsettia. Now I think I'll add a little bit of some, some stickles or some sort of doodad in the middle there, maybe a sequin, I'm not sure, um, just to give it a little color in the middle. And then I made some gift card holders. So you can see here I did the candles, aren't those sweet? I'll pull these each up so you can see them. And this pocket is made with a die that I've had in my stash from Stampin' Up! for oh, at least 10 years, if not more. I'm sure it's, it's a retired thing, but there's a lot of that stuff out there in the world. And here's just simple with the holly. And here I did add some stickles. Here's that little poinsettia. And I dug into my stash and found a little shape. Here's the Noel and that little pine cone and little oranges and a little bit of greenery. And I used my markers to color these images. And the little candles, I just love those little candles. Those are so cute. And that bow is a part of it as well. Isn't that sweet? So, going to have some fun this fall playing with the goodies and uh, some videos to follow. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed, crafty day. And I'll see you next time.